welcome to MBS Show, episode number 325. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, every pony. Hey there, man. How are you doing? Doing fine as usual. Not much has changed over the past week. Just been catching up uh, news here and there. Talking about the news, right? San Diego Comic Con. It's, um, it was happening last week when this episode comes out. So yay, a lot of pony news to talk about. So yay. I'm kind of excited what they, what they showcase during uh, SDCC, the San Diego Comic Con. Well, there's a few. You know what? I'm just going to hold this one for a bit because it's going to be pop up as a surprise for you. But let's head right into the news. So, Hasbro is running a Comic Con featured on Amazon with 80 style pony shirt and more. So, if you don't have the chance to go to San Diego Comic Con, you can always go to Amazon. And it seems that they have a lot of stuff over there for you to purchase. Some of the merchandise look very nice, I dare say. And I'm not 100% sure if all of these are exclusive or not. But some of them are there, including Toilet Sparkle and Star Swirl the Bearded Toy from Season 2. And some pony shirts and Transformer shirts and stuff. So, yay. I do like the 80s uh, pony shirt. Uh, wear that swag out. It looks cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to look at stuff. Um, I'm looking at which one I like. I have to say Applejack kind of strikes my fancy for the shirt. Mm, that, that classic look. That Schrager kind of look. <laughs> yes. But uh, other than that, right, um, the shirts, or all of the shirts are at $20. And there are some toys, like uh, for Transformers, there's a, what, three Transformers toys and one pony toy here. Uh, the Transformers toys are at $24. And the pony toys are at $40. So, yay. Much awesomeness. Well, at least the, the Twilight Sparkle, the toy one, it's the, what do you call it, the Halloween, the Halloween design? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the one from, a, what you might call this, San Diego. The Nightmare yeah. Night. <laughs> yeah, Nightmare Night. And uh, talking about classics, right? Uh, last week we mentioned about the exclusive San Diego Comic Con uh, pony toys. And the Lester's Q from EQD bought himself one and reviewed it on EQD. So looking at the whole setup here, well, we're not going to run down whatever he said. And we're just going to, well, spitball things here and just talk about what we see. And yeah, from what we see here, it's a box shaped in a boom box with ponies inside it and stuff. Yeah, it's shaped like the those retro boom. Yeah, well, like what you said, the retro boom boxes. And the kind of interesting fact is that inside they have, they give out three cardboard. Uh, what do you call it? Cassette Three tapes. cardboard cassettes. Yeah, cassette tapes. And that looks kind of interesting. Oh, looks like you can pop it out, actually. Yeah, you, you can pop it out from the cassette tray and whatnot. I mean, it's basically... You know what? It's just nice. It's nothing too fancy. Uh, It's just like the cassette tapes are in, what, pink, blue, and yellow. Uh, Pinkie Pie is yellow. Twilight Sparkle is in pink. Rainbow Dash is in blue, and all of those tapes have a titles on them like Careless Winnie, uh, Ponies Are Ponies, Trot Like an Equestrian. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, the puns. I, I think Careless Winnie is Careless Whisper, something like that. Ponies Are Ponies, I don't know. Um, Trot Like an Equestrian, that's like uh, Walk Like an Egyptian. So, it's like, oh, yeah, uh, they're going old school. Ah, uh, classic. Classic memes, as, as they say. <laughs> and uh, let's see, uh, going back a bit older, right? Um, we mentioned that Kotobukiya, a Japanese figure company, made ponies, right? And I think last week we mentioned about it, something about the posters and something like that. Yep, they were debuting their poster. And I was at that time speculating, was it a week or a week, to, uh, a week or two ago? I think it was. Like that. Uh, that I was. Sorry, good. I think it was two weeks ago or something like that. I can't re- really remember. Yeah, I think two weeks ago because it was just you and me. Because I was remembering that I mentioned that, oh, you know, judging by them releasing a poster, there's high chance that they may release a figure and looks like I struck gold. Apparently, oh, yeah. they are releasing a figure. <laughs> and to be honest, we already know that they're going to release a figure. I, I thought you mentioned that, oh, they're going to do the poster thing. Like, they're just going to release a poster. And I say, like, 
Nah, that'll be stupid of them like to release poster. But nah, that, that's <laughs> I think we miscommunicate on that one. But yeah, um, figures yeah. are coming out. And this recent San Diego Comic Con, they revealed their prototype. And oh my goodness, that looks awesome. I love it, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like going way back when it's announced that the figures are, well, let's say, uh, announced a brand new Equestrian Girl style statue. Uh, the teaser image seems to hint, um, blah, 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 blah. And then uh, the collectible craft are created in Japan and reimagined by master illustrator Shunya Yamashita for an example of what, blah, 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 so on. Yeah, so uh, the prototype is out and yeah, it looks great. And uh, Kotobukiya officially tweeted their thing and showed it at San Diego Comic Con and oh my goodness that looks awesome yeah the price is still to be announced but I do not know if they made a blunder because considering the fact that for some reason their tag what do you call it the name tag or something like that it's written going to be released in November 2018 it's like what? yeah man what like, does that mean? for people who got no idea go check out the show notes and look at some of the pictures because over at the Hasbro booth uh, they displayed all of their pony merchandises from soon to come pony toys to some that are already released and whatnot. And Kotobukiya's toys is also over there, having the tag of My Little Pony Bishojo statue Pinkie Pie. And if some people might have noticed, it says available in November of 2018. But if you notice on the poster or the whatever thing that they have there, it says available in May 2019. So, what now? So, I think this may be a typo and uh, I think we may have to wait it until, uh, rather than November 2018, we may have to wait until May 2019 for the full release. Or it could be November 2018 and then the others may be on 2019. Well, we will never know until they announce it later. Once we have the full coloration of the figures. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Until Kodobukiya posts on their something something. You know what? If you have friends on the Facebooks who love this kind of things, they're going to spam it to you. Like I remember my friend spamming it to me and I was happy that he thinks of me when it comes to ponies. So yay. So um, besides that, like uh, this is awesome. Uh, for now, uh, Kodobukiya has announced that they're going to be creating three figures. That's Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy and also Twilight Sparkle. And... Here's the catch. Um, the skin tone for the other two for now are realistic human skin tone, while Pinky herself is in pink. Or is that human skin tone, or is that really pink? I, I don't know what to think. I must have. It looks. It's a more human kind of uh, color. Yeah, it's like almost pinkish to me, but <laughs> it's really hard to say. It's hard to say because you never know how the way the graphic photos look like yeah anyway. and then we have because to see the real figure too. some yeah yeah because some people they may do the coloration or uh, monitor coloration and whatnot so it may be look a bit different mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh one thing i have to mention right uh, if you go check out the kotobukiya figure it comes with a pony figure so you'll have uh the ikastragal's pinkie pie and also a pony pinkie pie and the pony pinkie pie is in the my little pony movie style so that is really cool. But I do like the amount of details on their hair, <laughs> especially the human pinky pie, that, that deep level of detail. Yeah, you know what? That's awesome and whatnot, but I still am impressed with the ponies. Like, you gotta, you gotta give it to them when it comes to non-human characters. Like, those are rare for them to do. Like, I know they do robots and whatnot, but uh, robots are humanoids, so... Yeah, but with ponies, they have to really, really create a new mold for it. Or they could just 3D print it, I think. Yeah, yeah they could. But it depends on how they 3D print it. Because if they do it with the... Or else today you could see the, what you call it, the amount of lines on the, the figures. But I think high chance this is just a, what you call it, a injection molding or something. Probably. If you check out the figure for the prototype on EQD, right? Like, just click on the yeah. prototype and go full view you get to see some imperfections with the figures like if you take a look see at Pinkie Pie's left rear hoof uh, it's not that looking too good and also her mane yeah yeah I, I noticed that imperfection but that's a prototype like it's not the full finished figure so those things yeah. can be excused for now because when you're gonna buy it 
it's going to probably cost you about 100 plus sin dollars. That will be what? Uh, 100 plus dollars American? I, I don't know. So yeah, you you want uh, bang for your buck. So yeah. This does look like a bang out for your buck, buck anyway. Yeah, but I have some friends that mentioned that Kotobukiya's product are so-so. They're not 100% great all of the time, but eh, you know, stuff. But other than that, we mentioned about Hasbro having their own uh, booth at Comic-Con. So yeah, uh, let's go through what we see here. Um, they have a lot of great stuff, especially the 80s retro theme that they're doing. And also, they're trying to promote the other pony toys and whatnot. You know, just take a look-see and stuff. But I'm just going to highlight stuff that we see or I enjoy. Uh, Star, if you notice something, do point it out too. Uh, so let's see. They have this Twilight, the Twilight dressing up with Star Shoulder Bearded and stuff, and it has its own book. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, the figure comes inside a box that looks like a book, so that is really awesome. Uh, they also have what you call this um, a Blu ray DVD combo, and it's the My Little Pony movie with the My Little Pony movie. If you're confused, mm. it's the uh, 2017 movie and the 1983 movie all in one box so yay uh two movies for the price of one also i see that they have a flip cover iphone 7 case so that's awesome it works with an iphone 8 if you guys have it so yay and yeah that's for what i like but what about you man i do see the what do you call it those blind back the cutie mark crew figurines oh yo those those look cool. And then there's also Rainbow Dash that comes with the the microphone. Oh, you mean the huge brushable? Yeah, the huge brushable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's and, cool. And those plushies, I think I've seen them before. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, they could have just been, they could have just been, like, you know, re- I don't know, they just put that as a de- decoration or something. As in, like, they use the released plush or something and like that, and then they just put it as display. But then again, I could be wrong no, you're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. Um, from what I'm seeing here, right? Uh, I've seen those plushes before, like the princesses. I've seen it at Toys yeah. R Us, um, Toys R Us Malaysia. Uh, pour one out for Toys R Us North America. Sorry, he didn't survive. Yep. But anywho, uh, I'm looking at something strikes my fancy, and it's the Twilight and Rarity plush. If you take a look, see right, their tail is not. In the what you call this? What what do you call that kind of hair? What the spaghetti manes? Was it that one, or was it the, or was it the brushable one? Yeah, it's the brushable one. You know, you know, like uh, if you take a look, see at the picture, uh, like just look for the picture of the ponies at the rear view, and you mm-hmm. you see what I mean. Like if you take a look, see at the princesses yeah. and versus the main six, the main six manes are kind of plush like. Yeah. The fabric, fabric. Yeah, fabric instead that's of yeah. it. fabric instead of hair. So that's something new I haven't seen before. Or have I? I don't really remember. Hmm. We may have to double check. So two toys are us. Yeah. But still, uh like you mentioned before the chibi those are yeah, yeah, those are cool. Plus man, like, like what else do you see? Yeah, well, I see there's a diorama of the CMC. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. The, 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 those look in those look uh, kind of interesting. Yeah. What else? There's a bit of a G1 stuff mm. that they they show at the showcase. Yeah, those G1 stuff are really retro, man. And that friendship school, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, um, you know what? I'm not even gonna mention it because it's buying into their products. Like you mentioned before, our uh, star, you're you're not really a big fan yeah. of season eight because of that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really the big fan of that. Well, at least, oh well, they do have oh they do showcase that what do you call it that uh mass also. Oh yeah, those the gravity yeah. mud. <laughs> yeah, the uh, gravity mud and the belt. Oh, the Pinkie Pie belt. The Pinkie That's, Pie that belt. looks good. Cool. Yeah, the I, belt is awesome. Yeah. But the mask, I seen it here locally. Um, I I don't know if I've seen it or. Uh, people in KL seen it, but yeah, you know, I I ain't gonna buy it, man. Like, even if I'm a fan, nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> but I, but one thing I do say though, that Pinky by Bell, I know a certain someone may like it. Oh, I know, I know uh, a certain con uh, goer or a con chair. <laughs> yeah, a certain con chair may like it. <laughs> There's also a certain like 
uh, oh, there's a purse. I thought it was something that looks like a switchback. <laughs> a Nintendo switchback. It could be. <laughs> no, it looks like a um, wallet. Yeah, it's a wallet. Yeah, a classic pur- uh, purse. Something like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I, I'm seeing also that they're trying to push the Equestria Girls doll. Uh, let's see. Yeah. My Little Pony Equestria Girls assortment. Yeah, uh, you know what? <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just no. But they do push their 83's line kind of hard. The 80's pony line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of hard. And I, I also see that they're also trying to push the Equestria Girl Mini figures. Those I don't mind buying. But oh my god, is it hard to get over here. And why is Sunset and Fluttershy toppled? Like somebody do something. They're, they're, they're fallen and they can't get up. <laughs> also rarity. Oh no. The sneakers do look nice, I dare say. Oh yeah, the, the sneakers the and stuff. Crew yeah. sneaker. But then again, it, it's the kind of thing that you once you buy it, you just put it as display. Yeah, not you're not gonna wear it. it. You're not gonna wear it. It's gonna be on full no, display. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wearing it is just gonna be a huge sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anywho, but anywho, um, if you want to check it out, go and go into the show notes and take a look. See, it's all over there. And last on the San Diego Comic Con news. Um, Star, this is a surprise for you because I just noticed this one. An audience recorded Equestria Girl sneak peek from San Diego Comic Con. Yay! Oh, that one. The, the Equestria Girls are sneak peek. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <coughs> so, apparently some naughty naughty folks at the My Little Pony panel at San Diego Comic Con uploaded a video of the up-and-coming Equestria Girl special. The... um. Was it fourth special for now? No, um, the first special was the first three, or technically this is number six or something like that. Oof, a lot of headaches in numbering. But yeah, this is the new special. Long story short, the girls are out on a vacation on a boat. I'm not hundred percent if this is the same boat as the Crystal Prep girls, but you know what? Don't care. Don't know. Um, you go check it out. It's really awesome. I'm not gonna spoil it. Have you checked this one out yet, Star? I just glimpsed through it, but I didn't click on it. Ah, all right. Uh, you're not a big fan of Request Regals, right? Nope, not really a big fan. All right, yeah. But I do highly recommend checking this one out when it's out, because I say you're going to enjoy it. Oh, it's great for those folks who enjoy uh, enjoy the Equestria Girls. True, but you are going to enjoy this one because of reasons. Yes, because of reasons. But anyway, <laughs> it's always... Re- it's... It's always because of reasons. Indeed. <laughs> it's always because of reasons. But anywho, let's head into the other part of the news. The mundane and not related to San Diego Comic Con news. So part 2 of season 8 will be returning soon. And it will be returning in August 4th. So yay. Ooh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. So the episode that we got last week on a Friday was kind of a gap in between. I wonder if that's going to come out on iTunes or not. That, that is a really good question. But um, episode 14, uh, A Matter of Principle, will come out on August 4th. And on the same day, episode 15, uh, The Heartwarming Club will also come out. I think it'll be half an hour after the first one. So yes, it's it's a it's a back to back screening. Mm-hmm. So it's a two episode in one day. Woo! Yep, yep. It's something to do with uh, a, a huge comeback, or something like that. Yeah, but <laughs> a bit of a spoiler. Uh, if you live in the Australias, you're gonna get episode fourteen early <laughs> on July twenty ninth. Yay! Yay! Oh wait, w- is that next week? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's, on a it's next week. On a oh, Sunday. wow. It's next week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's on a Sunday. That that's cool. Cool story. <laughs> I know. Cool story. I know. But um, for now, um, regular schedule are coming out pretty usual. Uh, episode sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen are going to come out in their order. I am confused because the recent episode that we got on last Friday was yak yak. Sex. Uh, that is on Yakiri Sex. Yeah, Yakiri Sex. Awesome to uh, August twenty fifth, but it came out like oh my goodness! I am so confused right now. Why do you? Oof, my head. And why does it say episode? You know what? I'm gonna 
not, I'm not going to think about it because I am so confused with the episode numbering. So yes, new episode coming next uh, on August. Yay, awesomeness. On a sad news, it seems that ponies might be leaving uh, Netflix. So, oh no, that's bad. That's bad for those who are watching it on Netflix. Well, it looks like that. Uh, it looks like that contract for to Hasbro is gonna be ending soon for in Netflix for Netflix. Well, I'm not too sure whether or not they're gonna renegotiate with their contract, but we will see in the following week news. Maybe or not they will continue it or not. We'll see how much the the demand for the show later on. True, but I don't know, man. Like, I don't watch Netflix that much because I don't have the time to watch it. But uh, I I don't know. I mean, I catch my ponies on iTunes, so yay. But other than that, I I got no idea. Like, having Netflix would be awesome. But over here in Malaysia, we only have till season two. So, yeah, um, not enough. We, We need more. Was it now? Because I do not have Netflix. So I thought it was... They have all the seasons, so I just heard that it's only two seasons? In Malaysia, yes. Uh, I'm not 100% sure in the States. I guess the States got everything. If you are a Netflix user, awesome. If not, hey, uh, don't don't worry. I'm sure there are going to be other chances. So, yeah. But anywho, let's head into the final news. And the final news is uh, Trixie and Starlight Rocket finally available officially on Amazon. No scalp price. That's great, because finally there's no uh, weird pricing anymore. Yep, yep. So remember way back when, when we reported on how cool this was, and suddenly Hasbro said to take it down, and the reason stated was it's not officially out yet, but some scalpers got their hands on it and are selling it at $50 per piece. So anywho, <laughs> uh, it's now officially available on Amazon, and you could get it for a low, low price of, um, well, it says here that it's currently not available. But looking at some of the other figures, uh, you could probably get it as for as high as fifteen dollars and, uh, for low as eleven dollars, depending on which figure you take. I I don't know because I'm looking here and, uh, it says that the Nightmare Moon Pony is about fifteen and uh, let's see, you know what, the King Sombra figure. Is about five dollars and sixty cents. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, depending on which one you pick. So yeah, uh, so I'm guessing this one is going to be around the twelve dollar mark. So what do you think, man? Like, have you been interested in this figure? Not really. <laughs> it it does look cool. That I I dare to agree. But as you know me quite well, I'm a plush guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I love this figure. Like, I am a figure guy. So this really interests me. And since it's Glim Glam and Trixie and they look adorable on this rocket, yeah, I don't mind it. I, I would love it, but no money. So what to do? Yeah, get it and then put, since it's inside the box, you can just display it by itself. Oh yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. That, that's what I've been doing. Uh, when, I, when I get those Equestria Girls Kotobukiya figure, they're not going to come out from their box. <laughs> then again, it does remind me me of that one one series though that was very uh good oh yes i remember now it was the element of harmony i ever seen it in real life the the sound of the figurines i think you're talking about the uh guardians of harmony yes yeah, sorry guardians of harmony sorry not elements of yeah, Har- guardians harmony of... it's guardians of harmony fans yes that one these, these are the one that i really really want like if they sell it at toys r us i'll pick it up I seen it at conventions before. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> uh, I remember they had it in Typo Nikon, and they had the Celestia one in front of me, right? Yep. Have you actually looked at it? Nah, man. I, I haven't got a chance to see it in person. Like, I would love to see one. I actually seen the Celestia figure in person. How was it? And I dare say, I dare say, it looks fantastic. It's really great. How how my impression was that I was looking at it normally. I was like, hmm, this this actually looks different from my expectation because I was like, well, it looks so different. I was like, the more I look at it, I was like, this actually strike me fancy. And then I look the more carefully. I was like, wait a minute, there's a weird window. There's a small window on top of the box, and I look at it under the light. I was like, wow, you. Actually, can let the light shine vertically into the figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, 
and when they reflect it, it's like, oh man, the lighting, man, it looks damn nice. Yeah, and this happens for all of their figure, the fan series. But hey, if you want to get it, it's available on Amazon. Uh, the cheapest is five dollars and sixty cents. Uh, but I'm not sure if you want to get uh, the Storm King. So yeah. Um, but there is Nightmare Moon if you're interested. So yeah, you could probably try that one. I could try it out. But I'm not sure because it's a figurine. Yeah. And the thing is that Nightmare Moon is also one of the hardest to find. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> it's, all, it's available on the Amazons. But hey, uh, that's besides the point. But anywho, that's the news for this week. So anyway, let's head into the next topic. And topic is what have we been doing with our week? So Star, what have you been doing, man? I have been just lazing around and do nothing as usual again. Just uh, looking around, reading manga and what. Looking through YouTube and uh, watching Twitch as usual. Oh, and especially catching up with uh, some other stuff. Oh, okay. How does the job hunt go? How's that going? Well, I just submitted just submitted one of my CV, so I just still need to wait. That's it. Oh, okay, cool. Um, good luck on that one. I hope you get the position or get the job that you want. That'll be awesome. Then again, I do need still need to uh, find the time, less procrastination, do something. <laughs> Maybe start uh, training. Some uh, IT stuff or whatnot. Yeah, maybe I do some uh, self for uh, IT or whatnot. I mean, as in like do coding or something. Oh, that would be interesting. Yep. Awesome, awesome. But then again, it's going to be difficult because considering the amount of time you need to look for these proper website that gives proper, what you call it, training material. Not going to be easy. And then again, there's a lot that may need to pay for the books and whatnot. So it's not that easy. Yeah, classes online can be... A bit of a hassle, especially if you want to go to quote unquote college. So yeah, but good luck, man. Good luck. I I hope you um do well or get the job at whatever it is. Thanks, man. No problem. No problem. What about you? What have you been doing? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, I did nothing much this week. Uh, in terms of entertainment, um, hmm, it's one of those cases where I haven't done much. I've I keep playing the same game, Overwatch. Um, that one seems to be going well with me. N- nothing much. Uh, but I, I think two days ago, I played it with uh, Julita. And we had fun. Like we, we didn't play versus humans because he was kind of rusty. And he was, you know, trying to get into the game. So we played against bots with a bunch of other people. And he's enjoying himself. He said that he likes this character, Diva. And hey, uh, if he's enjoying it, I'm happy. Uh, if he's happy, I'm happy. And hey, maybe if he has the time, we can go on to play quick play with other humans. Uh, that will be stressful. <laughs> um, other than that, uh, nothing much. You know what? I got nothing, man. Like, <laughs> this week has been boring. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themisogmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at NMBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And Star, where can the good people find you? People can find me on my Twitter, AngelicoXX, or my DeviantArt, AngelicoXX. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and stitch your radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. Links are in the show notes. And also do subscribe to the MBC Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me and Silver Quill talking about pony episodes, comics, movies, and also other shows like, hmm, I, I don't know, maybe a movie review that we're going to do soonish. Who knows? So that'll be fun. Yay. Also, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusives and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I like to thank Lurker Cat, Starstream, Master of Lag, Amy, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You have been awesome. You guys are awesome. Don't forget that you guys are awesome. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And this is Starstream. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Yes Show. See ya. See ya.